Hello and welcome to this video. So now we have our loop where we can loop through the increments and the instruments. The next thing to do is actually write our function that's going to create our file. So we're going to type def create file and take in a pair granularity and an instance of the OANDA API. Before we do anything else, down inside run collection, we'll create a new instance of the OANDA API. And then underneath the print here, we can call the create file with the pair granularity and API. So the way we're going to do things is we're going to get candles, more or less 2,000 of them at a time. The limit is 5,000 with OANDA. We won't go all the way up to there. We'll do it in increments of 2,000 candles to keep the data amount down a bit. And to get approximately 2,000 candles, what we need to do is calculate how many minutes that would be in time. So we'll type that our candle count is equal to 2,000. And then we'll type that our time step is equal to the increments object with our granularity multiplied by the candle count. And time step then will be more or less the minutes to get 2,000 candles. It'll be in reality slightly less because of weekends and things like that. Now we want to specify the time range that we're actually going to get the candles for. So we're going to type then that our end date is equal to utils.getutcdt from string. And then in brackets, I'll type uh, 2020, 12, 31st, 23, 59, 59. So in other words, we're going to collect data up to the end of 2020. And then we'll make a date from is equal to utils.getutcdt from string and make that 2018.01.01 and midnight. So we're collecting data from the start of 2018. Now you can of course collect much older data if you'd like. Next thing to do will be declare a list of candle data frames. And what we're going to do is append to this list all of the candles we get back from our calls to the OANDA API. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a while loop that allows us to loop from our date from up to our end date here. So to start that we'll type that date2 is equal to date from. And now we can say that while date2 is less than end date, we'll say that our date2 is equal to our date from plus dt.timedelta minutes equals time step. So if we're setting our date from at the beginning of 2018, start of January, we set our date2 to that. So when we start this loop, date2 is 2018 in January and the end date is the 31st of December 2020. And as soon as we start the loop, we set our date to as the date from, so the 2018 1st of January, plus whatever we've calculated in this time step. So let's say we've got two weeks of data. So we would then have a date from, which is the 1st of January, and a date to, which is the 14th of January or 15th of January. Now, because we have a chunk of time in a time step, we have to check that we're not going past the end date that we desire. And if we are, then we'll set date two to that end date. So we'll type that if date two is greater than end date, then set date to equal to end date. And then the final thing here would be to collect candles. So I'm just going to put a comment now for later. And then to finish the loop, we can say that the date from is now equal to the date to. So just to check this is working, what we can do is we can type print and then date from and date to. Oh, actually we need to put this print below here, don't we? Otherwise we won't see the correct end date. So just testing this out in the console, you can see that we go for New Zealand Canadian dollar. We go, so 1st of the 1st, 30th of the 11th, 30th of the 11th, 9th, 29th of the 10th, and so on, all the way up to the end of the year. Okay, so we're finally set up to be able to put in the code inside this part here that actually collects the candles and fills up the candle data frames list. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.